And now from our studios in downtown Winnipeg, it's time for 107 Live. And welcome to the Thursday, December 17th edition of 107 Live. I'm very happy to have with me in the studio classical guitarist Rod Makoba. Welcome, Rod. Welcome. Please Thanks take for it. Me. Pleasure. Take it away. Beautiful. Wanted to uh, let that note linger for a little bit. Gorgeous rendition of uh, Silent Night, Rod. And uh, the, y- you uh, chose a quote. Uh, I'll, t- I'll tell you a little bit about Rod in uh, one second. He chose a quote uh, that he wanted to accompany that piece. I'm going to read it for you right now. He felt it was an inspiring quote at Christmas and sort of with all the negative news we're bombarded with on a daily basis that it kind of paired well with Silent Night. So I'll read it now. And it's a quote by Jack Layton. He says, My friends, love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic, and we'll change the world. That was a quote by Jack Layton, as uh, chosen by Rod McCobick to accompany that piece. So Rod, why, why uh, well, let me just tell you a little bit about Rod before I start asking. I've known Rob, uh, Rod for a little while, uh, since my mm-hmm. days at McNally Robinson Bookseller. He's a classical guitarist, and he was in uh, selling his CDs. Well, he's been playing guitar for over 30 years, and he's had the honor of studying mm-hmm. with some of the best people, uh, Norbert Kraft and Sharon Isbin. He spent some time studying with them. He's been a full-time guitar teacher since 1989, and has served on the faculty at the Manitoba Conservatory of Music and Arts and uh, University of Manitoba School of Music Prep. He, uh, he's known our uh, music director here, Chris Wolf, uh, mm-hmm. for quite some time. They work together. He's currently a busy guitar studio uh, working there uh, in River Heights, and he's also a sommelier, which uh, studying to be a studying sommelier, be, yeah. <laughs> which we'll uh, ask him about in a second. So, Rod, but tell us about yeah. that quote, what, what you, why you chose that quote. Well, you know, it's funny, Michael. I, I came across it uh, coincidentally about a week ago, uh, just in some correspondence with someone. Uh, they had it attached to their name at the bottom. He, this person is an administrator at his school, and I guess that was something he was tagging just because of all the negative things that have happened. Uh, i.e. in Paris and with the refugees and mm. whatnot. And um, my CD, the, the Portraits of Christmas, what I'm playing music from, is a CD that is one that is trying to encompass all the things that we really do experience at Christmas. 
Um, what I mean by that is we don't, uh, in, our, in life, you know, we're not always going to have a Merry Christmas, unfortunately. And I, I've had many experiences at Christmas with my father passing away. My wife and I went through infertility where I just wish Christmas would pass by. Now, on the side of all this, being a musician, I have this horrible plight. I have to play Christmas music. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, I have to go in and, you know, be festive and so forth. And uh, so over 20 years, I had many, many arrangements that I've made. Um, and I decided it was really my wife's inspiration to record them all a few years ago and do an unedited recording because it would be very, very just authentic where I am at that moment playing, reflecting on these carols. And the point is, within the album, there there's a lot of different emotions, different experiences being represented. Real high points, some low points, lots in the middle, which is really real life. Mm -hmm. And the Leighton quote, I just thought, was a really perfect pairing, if I could call it that, with Silent Night, as Silent Night is about love, divine love, and hope, and reconciliation, something our world really needs. Mm -hmm. So so the, I have always felt music ha should have a message, even as, a, as an instrumentalist, and that's been a big passion of mine all my life. Um, my parents were professional musicians, and so I grew up in a world of music, and uh, I find that, uh, you know, life's experiences pair with music. Um, we talked about that the other day, and just mm -hmm. that I find there's a it's an incredible tool to bring healing and to bring encouragement and inspiration. And quite simply, I just hope that that quote, along with Silent Night, would, would lift people's spirits, encourage them to be their best, mm -hmm. and that we can all rise above all of the negative things and make a difference in our world. Wow, we could wrap it right there. That was so well said. That's it. Okay, that's it. We're done. No, um, thank you for bringing that in. I really appreciate that. That was oh, a wonderful quote. Pleasure. Now, we knew each other from McNally Robinson yeah. in those days, and then I happened to run into you at a place, uh, yes. not, well, a little while back, probably yeah. within the last year or so. Uh, I frequent a place, uh, Piazza Denardi, I mm -hmm. Pizza, I love the pizza there yeah. and all the food. And mm -hmm. they have a place called La Boutique del Vino, which is right. their, their wine store within that's their right. store. And yep. you're also studying to be a sommelier as well. And I that's am. where I came across it you. It is again. one of the most difficult things I've ever endeavored to do. <laughs> uh, it makes the history of music training I took. That was tough. But this, I think, is there's more detail even yet. Like studying the life of Bach has detail and his repertoire. This is a whole other can of beans per se yeah. or, or a uh, barrel of, of grapes <laughs> but uh, it is really really challenging but very very enjoyable mm -hmm. and I've had an, uh, a love for wine for about 10 years started really with I used to play at the Weston Hotel in the Velvet Glove uh, I was one of the house musicians there and I was intrigued by this incredible process of selecting a wine with your food it was like this was more difficult than you know planning your trip for the summer it was mm -hmm. this huge process and I was I remember thinking does it really make a difference I had no idea. And then in my 30s, I started to read about the medicinal value of wine in moderation. And so it was really a combination of those things that I took a course and I really found it really, really intriguing mm -hmm. how all the sensory glands in our tongue are affected by the acidity and sugar levels and bitterness in food. And the wine parallels with that. You you balance things out. It's it's not a elitist thing. It's it's really just, just real basic... Uh, well, for a lot of people all throughout the world, it is just sort of a basic mm -hmm. everyday thing. It's one of the most ancient things that hasn't mm -hmm. changed in the way it's made, they mm -hmm. say. Thousands mm -hmm. of years, it's made the same. So mm -hmm. this this time of year, there's lots of festivities happening and yeah. lots of parties. And um, obviously, you're introduced to a lot of wines throughout the year. Yes, but an overwhelming amount. Let, yeah. me, let me ask you, uh, if you were to choose just the one wine that you're into for this time of year uh, that you sell at, 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 at La Boutique del yeah. Vino... What is it and why? I would say it would be Carpeni Malvolti Prosecco. Okay, and Prosecco. it's it's a form of Prosecco. Um, the reason I would choose that is it's 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 a sparkling wine, much like champagne, without the price tag. Uh, it's made in Italy. Uh, it is it's very very has a beautiful peach aromatic. It's very light and crisp, and it per, it pairs perfectly with anything. Wow. So whether okay. you have a turkey at Christmas or you have craft dinner, it's going to work. Okay. And uh, it's actually the funny story about it is Ugo Donardi, the owner, grew up next door to the vineyard north of Venice. True story. Wow. I was okay. just speaking with him about it. And he said, no, he grew up in Prosecco country and he knows the family and he's known them forever. And so he brings it in. We're the only ones that carry it in the city and it's really worth trying. There you go. Go visit Rod at uh, La Boutique del Vino in Piazza Donardi out on uh, Waverly and uh, Taylor. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe he'll recommend something else, too, in case that's not your thing. But, yes, absolutely. Um, absolutely. So now 
as, as I mentioned, he, Rod, Rod works part-time there. He's also studying to be a sommelier. He's a classical guitarist, obviously very busy. He's uh, raising a family as yes. well, twin daughters, I believe. And my 25th wedding and anniversary his, his on 25th, Tuesday. W- wow, wow. So I love you, John. I know you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm on like a sports person now. <laughs> yeah. interview, they was I'd like to in. thank this person. And that. <laughs> That's um, right. But he's also generously, I should say, Maria Denardi, yes. uh, one of the owners, generously donated this gift card. Mm-hmm. It's a hundred dollar gift card. That's a hundred dollar gift yeah. card to Piazza de Nardi. I would spend that in probably two minutes. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to give that away. But there's only one hitch here. And this is the hitch. Rod is about to play one more tune. And this is a medley of Christmas carols. It's a medley of Christmas carols. There are five Christmas carols. Now, in order to win this, don't call me until he's done the song, because you'll obviously miss the last one. Um, you have to f- tell me what all the Christmas songs are in this medley. And then you, once I ask you and offer up the phone number, you tell me all the carols that he plays here. You'll win this $100 gift card from Piazza Denardi. And as I mentioned, if nobody wins it, well... I don't know. I'll oh, we'll have to find something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. And you can mention it's it's good for the whole market. So if you're not a wine drinker, if you don't uh, they have drink great wine, cakes. then it's good for the whole grocery store. There and you they go. have all amazing products, Angus beef, they have a red sealed pastry chef from Italy. Mm. They have My belly shows it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good anywhere in the store. Well, here's Rod Makovic again on one oh seven live.
Ah, wow. Never heard the, those ones played that way. Beautiful medley of uh, Christmas carols. Now, where were, that was uh, Rod McCovic on the uh, classical guitar. Uh, Rod, thanks uh, for, very much for coming in this morning. Oh, it was a I'm pleasure. thrilled to come. Thanks for inviting me. And uh... From our studios in downtown Winnipeg, you've been listening to 107 Live, Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, the soundtrack for your life.